back. Uh, today is the D-Day for the Orange Democratic Movement. Uh, the elections are happening, I think, any time from 12 o'clock going forward. And we we'll just want to take a few uh, minutes to focus on what this election portends for the party and the future of uh, Raila Odinga in his uh, bid for presidency uh, 2017, uh, since he has already declared. And we're joining the studio by two researchers and, uh, and analysts, Tom Wall from Ipsos, and uh, Caesar Handa from Strategic uh, Research. Uh, both have been doing research in the recent days <coughs> about the po popularity of political parties and the future of, uh, I remember, Wolf, the future of uh, Raila Odinga and what the public thinks. Of course, we have Mutegin Jao, uh, my colleague and uh, senior analyst here. Let's, let's uh, you know, go straight into the subject. Uh, Tom, uh, what do you think uh, are the implications of today's election whichever way it goes well that's uh, a question that probably deserves uh, if not a book at least um, a very very extended answer and I'm, I'm glad we've got uh, very qualified co uh, colleagues so maybe I'll just lead off with uh, if not necessarily answers at least a couple other questions that that stem from that um, as you already mentioned there is this overlap uh, between the future of uh, former Prime Minister Odinga and the party. But as we've seen from rec recent polling data, these are not necessarily 100% uh, overlap. ODM, and I'm sure uh, Mr. Odinga would be the first to admit it, that, uh, or even encourage it, that the party should have a life and a future in Kenyan uh, uh, politics uh, long after he leaves the scene. Um, but that tells us that there are two partly competing agendas here. As you said, one is to prepare the party uh, in the short term to compete more effectively for influence in uh, national institutions and at the uh, devolved uh, county level also, at the same time as preparing for the next national elections, which in all likelihood, but not necessarily, would be his last chance at the presidency. And these two do not necessarily always pull in the, in the same direction. Um, the, the final comment I would make here, and then uh, turn things over to my colleagues, is that we have to keep in mind that the country is in uh, a situation uh, of really a winner-take-all, or winner-having-taken-all, in terms of national political power, for really the first time in a decade. We know that after the 2002 elections, uh, we had what we can call a de facto power-sharing power government between LDP and, and NARC. Um, and so even if there was a lot of complaints and uh, bad feelings about the non-implementation of that MOU and so on, the failure to have a single uh, agenda for a new constitution that led to the defeat of the first draft in 2005 and so on, it was really only in the last year or so of that first Kibaki government where there was the, uh, 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 a single group right. that was monopolizing power, but it was in a weakened position because it was really a minority of the country as a whole. If you put LDP and then the Kano opposition yes, together, yes. Okay. Th and then of course in the uh, post-2007, after the crisis, there was a de jure by, by law, by constitutional agreement, power sharing. Yes. So we're really back to a situation where all the power is concentrated really among the winners, and that makes it a very big challenge for the opposition party to get its act together. Okay. Uh, Cesar, let me come to you. Uh, both your researches show that uh, ODM has lost a bit of popularity. Uh, for the longest time, ODM was the biggest party, the most popular party. Uh, in my memory, it's the first time that ODM is, uh, uh, um, uh, is, is, is led by TNA uh, as the most popular political party. Do you think these elections are going to help to repair or to propel ODM back into being a pop more popular party or the way it's been handled, it could end up being worse? I think it's a, a, a difficult thing to predict at the moment, but uh, for sure it's a time for ODM to redefine itself. Uh, the fact is that uh, once a party loses power, like ODM just did, uh, there's a moment when a lot of um, a lot of supporters, a lot of people who have identified with that political party, would want to question their support for that political party, mm -hmm. and even for members who are like on the borderline, 
if you go out now today and ask them uh, which political party they are close <coughs> to, they tend to, to, to lean towards the party that is, is in power. And this is happening even for um, uh, uh, parliamentarians. We've seen members of parliament or, or even in Senate, people who are voted in uh, through ODM or through code, but uh, are tending to lean towards uh, the party that is in power. So what we are saying is that uh, it is a time for ODM to redefine itself. Political parties uh, in Kenya and indeed in Africa are vehicles for capturing power. The moment that uh, eludes that political party, a lot of them disintegrate. Yes. But then uh, what we are seeing is a situation where ODM has realized early enough that it has to put its house in order like um, the camp um, Ababu and, and Jehu are saying that they are putting in place structures to win the next elections they are not in putting in place structures to be effective opposition political right, party right, right. so really it's about preparing to capture power in the next elections and, and I think um, they have captured the mood yes. uh, of, of party members and they are looking at uh, these camps and they are saying we think that this is the party that can lead us to power. Do because really that, uh, in essence, is, is what political parties in Kenya are. Who is a member of a political party in this country? You have said in your research that TNA is very popular, uh, 44% or whatever. But who is a member of TNA? Because they, they, the parties are there, as you said, during elections. After that, what, what, is there any TNA well, in terms of membership? That's what we are saying, that um, when parties want to capture power, they, 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 they basically mobilize a population behind them. Exactly. Now, that, those are the members, those are the people. When we go out to ask um, uh, citizens, we ask them which political party are they closest to? Yes. Which political party do they support? They are not necessarily registered they are not members of right. parties. And the answer to that Very question right now yeah. is TNA. Well, our data from our poll that was three weeks after uh, uh, Strategics um, put them in a statistical tie. We had ODM at 30% and TNA at 28%. I believe the Strategic poll had TNA at 32 and ODM at 29 basically a statistical tie. Yes. So they're at par. However, um, uh, when you look at the uh, overall coalition between Jubilee and Cord, our figures uh, were again almost identical with strategic mm -hmm. with uh, Jubilee having about a 6% margin when you add uh, URP to, uh, to, to TNA yeah. and you add wiper uh, ODM wiper to, to, to uh, ODM mm -hmm. so at the coalition level and I think that's why Caesar's point is absolutely correct um, it's the pot of honey that attracts the bees yep. not the empty one yeah let me um, uh, Tom let me focus on yes. this one uh, this contest started as uh, an old guard versus young uh, contest. Mm -hmm. Do you see this happening, uh, panning out to be such a contest today? Or has that objective that, you know, they need to replace the ODM old guard with the new fresher people uh, been lost in the battle for the positions? I mean, when I just look, as I haven't done detailed sort of research on the competing uh, uh, slates or lineups, to me, it seems like both are a mixture in it's terms of old and new. Yeah. Um, I think, and this is just a, a hypothesis, and, uh, that, the, the, uh, that original sort of caption um, over the evolving <coughs> competition was not aimed at the entire slate, but rather it was a code or a symbolic way of saying that the party leader, that is Mr. Odinga as a person, as an individual, should not impose whether it was going to be a newcomer like Senator Zani or a newcomer, a younger person like uh, Honorable Namwampa. So it seemed to me when they said it's time for the new uh, guard to replace the old, yeah. I think that was more a symbolic way of, of telling Mr. Odinga, you keep out of this and let us compete democratically for the seats. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, Caesar, what, what do you think goes for each of these factions? So let's say the Namamba lineup and the Zani lineup. Which, what factors and how do you see them playing out? I, I think looking at how these factions formed themselves, 
uh, there was the initial faction that was alleged to have been supported by Railo Dinka, or favored by Railo Dinka. I think that put off a lot of people who are looking <coughs> forward to a party elections that is free and fair. I think that has been lacking in a lot of these party activities. Now, when uh, this initial faction, of course, coalition around Zani, uh, came up, they also wanted to present themselves as such that they have the, yeah, the, blessings. the blessings from the party leader. Yeah. Now, this actually put off. And then, of course, it became uh, counterproductive. It became counterproductive. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Then, the, um, Ababu came. And Ababu came with a team that is more vibrant, that uh, is ready to go out, that is ready to say the right things that the political party followers want to hear, that we want to put Railo Dinga into power in the coming election. That's what they want to hear. And they have demonstrated that um, they can go to all corners of this country. And basically, the, the fanfare that accompanies their campaigns, uh, you can see the choppers, you can see uh, the, the shukas, you can yeah. see the rungus, and, and everybody now wants to identify with them. And, and I think, basically, what has happened is that uh, they have managed to keep Raila, bring back Raila to understand that there must be some level of democracy that must be at play. Do you and think, I think that, yeah. that, that you think uh, uh, Raila has lost influence, that influence that he had over the party? You know, the trend does he still have the influence that he had? <coughs> Raila Odinga, any party he went in, he was the say it all. Uh, depending on how we define in detail the, the, the key word you used, uh, David lost um, leaving that aside for the moment I think it's definitely true and the party leadership starting from uh, Riley himself have admitted that going into the